Good evening, it's Minyun, and I'm going to look at um, enrollment methods. Um, Nelly gave us a great tip, and that is to type in enrollment at the bottom, because if you look at your users here, and if you look at your courses, um, you will find that there's nowhere um, in any enrollments. So um, this could actually be a huge problem, except if you're clever like Nelly, and do it here. Okay, so enrollment falls under plugins and you can find it under the plugins directory. I think I installed the PayPal plugin myself. I'm not sure, but I think I did that on my installation. Okay, and then you've got a, a, a few other enrollment methods here. Depends on what you, you want to use or what you're going to use and you can make them visible or hide them. I've hidden all those that I'm not going to use. Self-enrollment was hidden. Let me just hide it. And then um, I decided, well, you know what, maybe they should be able to enroll themsel themselves. So I made this one visible. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to get my students to visit my site, see that there's a course available, and then actually do the enrollment themselves and then pay for it themselves and so that's why I installed the PayPal and I'm quickly going to look at the settings yeah your PayPal business email account you should register for that um, this should be you should visit the PayPal website do your registration there and then you just enter your account email address here this is just a random one and you can notify your students and I would suggest you say notify admin if it's not a lot of people if it's going to be thousands then it's going to drive you crazy okay allow PayPal enrollments default is no but I want to set it to yes because I want them to actually go and register and and do their registration there I'm from South Africa unfortunately there's no RAND currency here so I'm going to go for the easiest one and that's going to be US dollars. I'm going to convert it and say let's make it about $26 which will end up at about maybe 260 to 300 Rand which is not bad I think for half a year of access um, to whatever courses I have online for a student. This will be various courses in various um, subjects. Okay, so I've saved my changes and once you save your changes all your settings are done. What I also would like to have a look at is the self-enrollment. Um, require enrollment key. If you click this on you will have to send your students an enrollment key this is nice um, if you want to allow only few people to register. What can happen is that the enrollment key can um, you know, get out and people can use it. And then you just set it again. And then for your new users, you just give a different key. It won't delete the old users. It will just change the key for the next batch um, that you register. Okay, um, use password policy. Yes, that would be for the um, uppercase, lowercase numerics and various characters I always think it's a good idea just to stick to to a very good password um, and then you can just set your settings here enrollment instances okay so you just read through these see what you want and set it um, and yes look at the defaults it's a good good practice to see what they suggest there so don't do your default enrollment as a manager, for instance. Keep it on student. But you are allowed to set these. Say, for instance, if you have a course for teachers at a school and you're going to give a course to your teachers, then you can set it there. But to be safe, keep it on student. Okay, so I want to unenroll my people after 190 days. Closest I have is 180 
and maximum enrolled users. I'm not going to set a maximum and a welcome message. So I've set a few settings here on my um, manual enrollments or my self enrollments. Manual enrollment is where I actually go and enroll the students. Okay, so this is under enrollments and the list of plugins. Guest access will be, you enable the, the option for a guest to register. Manual enrollments will be where you actually enroll the user yourself. Okay, so this is it. Thank you for watching.